Good Thursday afternoon and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Nick Oresco eagerly waiting to tell you what's going on with traffic and weather. Meteorologist Brian Lapis. Brian, weather wise, we are having some showers out there across western Massachusetts. Traffic, though, not looking too bad. No, actually, we're in pretty good shape traffic wise. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? I-91 from Franklin County to the Connecticut state line is in good shape. And the pike is running uh, smoothly as well. We've got the usual backups here. People getting a head start on the weekend, maybe heading to the Cape uh, eastbound and westbound for that matter, running slow uh, near Sturbridge where the pike and I-84 meet. But otherwise, we're in good shape. Let's take a look at weather. We've declared a 22 new storm team weather alert this afternoon for some scattered thunderstorms. So far, there haven't been many. Temperatures are in the low to mid 80s. In fact, we're at 87 right now in Westfield, 83 in Orange and Springfield. A little bit more humidity in the air as well. We take a look at the clouds and radar and you can see a couple of scattered showers. There have been a couple of severe weather warnings in northeastern Massachusetts, but here in the west, where it's best, no major problems. But nonetheless, if you have outdoor plans for this evening, keep an eye on the radar on the 22 News app because we could have some lightning strikes and some downpours and possibly uh, a strong to severe thunderstorm, an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm. We'll track weather for the weekend in just a couple of minutes. Hurricane Ernesto is barreling toward Bermuda after leaving hundreds of thousands of people in Puerto Rico without power or water. A hurricane warning is in effect for Bermuda today with Ernesto expected to pass near or over the island on Saturday. It's forecast to become a major category three hurricane tomorrow and drop between four to eight inches of rain in Bermuda with up to 12 inches of rain in isolated areas. Five people have been charged in connection with Matthew Perry's death, including the actor's assistant and two doctors. Federal prosecutors announcing the charges today, saying the doctors supplied Perry with a large amount of ketamine and even wondered in a text message how much the former friend star would be willing to pay. Perry's assistant, who authorizes, who authorities rather say, injected the actor with ketamine on the day he died, found Perry face down in his hot tub on October 28th. His autopsy listed ketamine as the primary cause of death, which was ruled an accident. A hacking group claims it was able to steal nearly three billion dollars, um, three billion personal records, rather, including social security numbers. The theft happened in April, according to a class action lawsuit filed in federal court in Florida. It says a hacking group stole the records from national public data, which offers personal information to employers, private investigators and others who do background checks. The hackers claim to have 2.9 billion records containing personal data from everyone in the U.S., Canada and the U.K. Governor Healy signing a bill today to protect firefighters from hazardous chemicals. The bill works to protect firefighters from unhealthy PFAS chemicals that are in the protective equipment they wear. PFAS have been linked to cancer and officials warn it has led to high rates of cancer related deaths in firefighters. 22 News State House reporter Olivia Ray will be joining us in studio tonight for a closer look at what this bill signing means for our local firefighters. Now let's check back in with Brian Lapis that uh, weather alert continues throughout the evening, Brian. Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, the potential for a couple of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms here through about 8 o'clock tonight. So as you make your late afternoon and evening plans, keep an eye on the radar on the 22 News app. You can see here on the 22 News Storm Team Skycast some scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible. They'll be widely scattered, but... Definitely want to stay one step ahead of these storms, downpours, lightning, possibly a couple of gusty winds as well. Here's seven o'clock and one last little batch of showers. And then by nine o'clock, we're starting to dry out and clear out. So there'll be scattered clouds overnight. Most of tomorrow is dry. We'll call it a mixture of sunshine and clouds. There's the chance for a light shower or sprinkle here tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures, mid to upper 80s. We'll talk about the weekend's weather on 22 News starting at five. Well, Six Flags New England has announced a new roller coaster for next season. They're calling it the Quantum Accelerator. The ride begins with a launch propelling riders into a series of twists, turns and curves while they are seated on a steampunk themed hoverboard hover bike. It will be the park's 12th coaster. It's expected to be open for the 2025 season. 
We're exactly 29 days from the start of the Big E, and today New England's Great State Fair gave us a sneak peek at some of the new food options that will be available at the fair. BLC Ventures, who operates the Big E Bakery, has completely overhauled all permanent food vendor locations in the Better Living Center, including the two former Glass House restaurants. The Crazy Burger is also getting a reboot this year. That's the hamburger in between donuts. And if you're looking to try a new cocktail, you can grab a cotton candy topped margarita at the cantina. The Big E kicks off Friday, September 13th. The Patriots will play their second preseason game tonight. They're at home in Foxborough hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. 22 News reporter Claire Overton will be there with live reports on 22 News starting at 5. The game starts tonight at 7 and you can watch it right here on 22 News. Now for a look at what we are working on for 22 News starting at 5 o'clock tonight. Hurricane Ernesto has left a widespread trail of damage in Puerto Rico. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres spoke with local leaders who have family on the island about what the need in the wake of the devastation is. Plus, we'll take a closer look at plans from the state to expand passenger rail service across the northern tier of Massachusetts. And we'll take you to Westfield, where police are reviewing the posted speed limit all over the city. We'll explain why. One last check of traffic, and for the most part, things are moving along fine. I-91 north and southbound, Springfield to Waitley is in good shape, and the Pike is also in fine shape. Other than the fact that we have a slowdown uh, both east and westbound at the 84 merge here in the greater Sturbridge Charlton area, we do have a couple of scattered thunderstorms to show you tonight on 22 News at 5. Brian, thank you, and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. Latest updates on news and weather on our website anytime, as well as the 22 News app.